now I can see. What it comes down to is the fact that you enjoy treading on those things we hold sacred. We out here mad at the way now. Hello, hello, what the fuck, ah, it's early as shit over here in Cali, it's about, it's close to 5.30, I was supposed to record this last night and then have it ready for upload, but I didn't do that because I was busy making other stuff, and that's what I've been focusing on, I'm just gonna make stuff, I have been doing, like, a friend of mine was like, hey, hip hop would work in anime, and I was like, I don't think it would. Like, cause it's just sometimes the, the frames are too fast paced. And then I was like, wait, they're so fast. Like, I didn't want a party or part. I didn't want like a uh, club or party music necessarily. I wanted to, I wanted songs that had like kind of a valid. I wanted, eh, I don't really know. I don't want to say, I don't want to say I wanted hip hop, but eh, yeah, I wanted fucking hip hop, I guess. And so it's actually been working really fucking well, like really fucking well. And. I, like I almost I owe that person like a, 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 a an Amazon gift card or something because like this shit will work. Um, now I just gotta come up. I'm I'm putting I'm I, I'm simultaneously putting together a comedy special for Christmas. I did not stop that shit. I'm doing the 30 minute special. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Um, put out I put out. So each day this week I put out like a little video that was like a clip with like a with a, like an anime intro with hip hop and it's just been good. And um the the feedback has been like shocking. Like I was like, oh shit. Like you I think you know something's decent when someone likes likes the thing and they haven't even like said like they haven't like shit on your profile. So they're like even that's like you know. Um uh let's see, I'm cause I'm this week I'm just gonna be focused on making shit. I'm not uh yeah, I'm not sure exactly what or how, but I'm definitely uh making shit this weekend, probably more centered around video games. Um. Other than that, shit's cool. I mean, my boss is getting on my nerves, but I feel like my boss is getting on my nerves because I have a fucking boss, <laughs> and that's an issue. It's weird, man. It's fucking weird. Sometimes I'm just like, I. He's just not like I look at him. Sometimes I'm like, you're wrong, and you're not going to know more than me. Then he be trying to give me the bullshit. Sometimes I'm like, yo, that's not going to work for me. Like that's really not going to work. Cause I know how things are supposed to work in, in, in this, in this facet of advertisement for dealerships. I know how shit's going to work. Cause I've done it before. Not only have I done it before, I fucking went to school for it. You know, like it's not like, I, like you're here because like he got promoted essentially cause he was with the company for a long time. He didn't get promoted because of skill necessarily. And uh, you know, and then this motherfucker be trying to hover the fuck over me. Like he has no, I guess that's really what pisses me off more than him being an asshole is the, the hovering and the fucking like doesn't let me do a fucking thing just doesn't even understand personal space like i almost fucked him up a few times and it was really and it was really because he just got way too close to me and that you know got triggered me you know you know was, you know i'm from baltimore so i got a little pstd Man, that sounds horrible what the fuck is pstd is that that sounds like that sounds like that sounds like a sexually transmitted disease you get from urine like what the fuck were you doing sitting in the puddle of urine sir I'm sorry, it was the boys' bathroom in sixth grade. I didn't know. Um, so uh, I assume that pretty much. Anyway, just that personal space. Like he just invades your personal space every fucking time, dude, and it's annoying. And he knows he's doing it. Like he knows he's fucking doing it. And it's like, and I look at him like, because mm. I'm, 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 I'm volatile enough to do something reckless, but I'm also smart enough to be like no it's not time yet <laughs> like i really do like if i fuck this motherfucker up how's it gonna look like it's gonna look like i'm an asshole because once you you know once you turn into the angry black guy you are forever the angry black guy forever even if you have good reason to be but that's whatever though i'm not because work is work and i just need the money and that's really how i just be acting like up oh, this is this is my money and cool you know 
So that's whatever. And man, I I miss I. There was a guy from Baltimore at this Beverly Hills dealership that I liked a lot, and he's gone now. Man, that like that sucked. I was like, oh, like he was like. Honestly, I, I like going to that dealership, talk to him like 15 minutes a day. And it was like just a little home away from home. I'm still fucking missing home. And I'm still like a good year, year and a half from visiting again because I haven't trained to be strong enough yet. That sucks. Like if we're in and I'm not talking about like a physical strength. I'm talking about like a um, like a like a, a like from a content creator perspective, I suppose, or a better way to put it is that I'm not where I want to be, and I don't feel like I deserve to visit home. Um, that's a treat for someone who has accomplished something, and I haven't accomplished anything yet. I'm moving in the right direction, I know that, but I still got a ways to go. You know, I'm still I'm I'm just heating up, and I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave when I'm just heating up. So we we just gotta. Just I'm keeping my forward momentum moving at all times. It's almost too early to start fucking talking. But generally, I'm still back to like kind of being left alone. You know, I like that more than anything. It's so weird because when I was a kid, I I so wanted to be included. (laughs) When I was a kid, I wanted to do I wanted to be I always wanted to be like included. And I just was I never really was. And then actually my mom was just like, you have to learn to entertain yourself. That's all. And so I guess I did over time. And now I'm just like, you know, anytime someone bothers, like, what the fuck do you want? Like, even, even when I do stand up and people come up and talk to me, that's how you know you did well, but you did decent. But when people come up, I'm like, the fuck do you want? Are you trying to sell me something? And no, they just really want to get to know me because I made them laugh for 15 minutes. So, you know, I still have to get used to that. I'm more, I'm still more like, yo. (laughs) <laughs> on the cat leave me the fuck alone but um i don't know i don't know it's been a long fucking week all this crazy shit with trump and they really just like i don't know anytime when people start citing biblical shit it starts to worry me because i'm like oh, okay nothing you think is based in lo- actual logic is it <laughs> so yeah It just and yeah, it's just not based in logic. I and I understand. Like I look at religion, like like as a um, those are those are those people at that time with what they knew were trying to keep history and tell history and tell stories. And there are some good morals in the Bible. But anytime someone's like, you know what, we have to break up these families because the Bible says so. I'm like, no, I don't think the Bible says that. I don't like. I didn't even look at the verse. I just saw that that was print it it just upset me that you're willing to break up a family like you're okay with that like 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 if someone paid me to do it like if i got paid to do that i save up enough money to quit and then i'm starting to free those fucking families i do it for like i do it for like a month if it took care of all my debt (laughs) this is fucked up but after that i quit and i go find those families and make it right yes the fuck i would at the same time though the way this country's looking if you don't have your passport and a thousand fucking dollars in a book bag with like all your credentials just ready like i because the breaking up the family shit like nazis did that shit they did that shit during the slave trade so that's what's like sketchy about it it's like and honestly there's some weeks i'm like all right i guess i'm leaving the country this weekend i'm guessing I'm leaving the country this weekend it just when i just want to hear like new passing shit sometimes because i'm fucking busy i don't have time for all the news I, I stay relatively informed like it, but it's only after the fact i have to i have to record here because i have a guest <laughs> which oh that came off sexual but no i have a guest and so uh that's also the reason why i didn't record this last night and i'm recording it now and then i'm going to upload it later but um yeah, like I, I do have a get, like I call it I I do have a I have do have a GTO bag essentially that, that I'm ready like it has everything I need in it including a fucking blade and <laughs> some trail mix uh you know just money passport birth certificate all, like all the shit you would need to essentially start a new life in a new country like now if I needed to you know but you know I, the be- the beauty about living in california is is that there is nothing if you wanted to invade california you would have to do it from the coast you couldn't or if you yeah so let's say 
Bush is like, all right, if you're not white, you got to get the fuck out of this country. That's said Bush. Bush wouldn't say anything like that. At least not the, 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 the fun Bush, you know, the one we thought was an asshole, but really he was just silly. Um, I mean, if Trump was like, we got to get everybody that is brown out of this fucking country. And if they not out of this country, we want to put them in camps and shit. Yo, I got my get the fuck out back. But if he wanted to do that, I don't think California, because California's already been like, yo, we're not going to honor, we're not honoring ICE shit. And we're not, you know, like it's almost become its own uh, territory in a way. But essentially, you know, coming in from California from, if you look at a map or whatever, from the right, it's a bunch of mountains and shit. And there's no towns, there's no people. So we would know if they were coming a mile away in, in, in the most biggest sense. So then you have to invade through the coast or whatever. And that even gets rough because there's the beaches there, which is, eh, and then there's just uh, cliff sides. So that gets tough. So essentially, it'd be really fucking easy for me to run and set up. Like, I could work for a month to save up to escape the country and still be good, pretty much. Um, but not it's not like that in Baltimore. It's not like that in North Carolina. It's not like that in Detroit. It's it's not. Like, they're going to get caught off guard regardless. Like, it's it's curtains. And that's not why I moved here. I didn't move here for some military advantage. But, you know, I've always had my get the fuck out back. Because mm, if if you are a group of people, which is kind of what's I don't want to say in power. Hmm. Because even it doesn't even matter because it anytime that a group has had the most power let's just say i don't know germans it doesn't matter because uh the jewish people they owned their own shops and they owned their, they did have their own real estate in their own places and it got fucking destroyed by the army because the government decided to take it you know so uh, even that even like because people are like oh you, essentially financial wealth is the only way to freedom in this country and i do agree with that but you know, I don't know. If you're not prepared to die for it, it can be taken away, essentially. Which is like a weird, you know, because you don't know how bad things are going to get to. Like, when do you put your life on the line is another question. You know, like if the Jewish people had decided to, I don't know, kill every soldier um, on that night of broken glass where they took the shop owners, you know, like the shop, like they, they basically like went inside every shop and every Jewish owned shop and fucked it up, fucked up their stuff, fucked up their shops. And that was it. Like, you know, cause there was no fucking renters insurance back then. And, um, that's, that's something that happened. So would you like, did they know like shit just got like slowly got worse, slowly got worse. And, then like and then something was then by the time anyone could do anything or anyone realized what was going on it was already too late but also i guess there's some mm -mm. Uh, you're talking things from a very history perspective i really don't know i'm talking from things from a a perspective of history that i just have never experienced so i can only because hindsight's always fucking 2020 ain't it you know so uh let's see what else is happening i live in a nice place yeah <laughs> that, and that's cool like i didn't mean to end up in a nice place i really just needed to be close to the action that's really what the goal was because i figure if you live in a neighborhood someone's got to notice you eventually um doing making the thing that you need to make like i if you're going to you know you're going to try and be part of the studio system if you're going to be a part of the content creation thing then you need to be around them and be around that shit so i wanted to be around content creators and i also wanted to be able to do stand up at a moment's notice so i i I found the best area that was a combination of that you know so i'm 15 minutes from downtown los angeles if there's no traffic then it's if it's traffic it's it's like 30 minutes it doubles it's fucking crazy but um Eh. and i kind of regret it and this is going to sound weird but i regret it because there's just no black people (laughs) and shit happens when there's no black people not a lot of black people in the area that i haven't liked like even my first week here the police were like who are you where are you from and shit and that really upset me because they you know tried to ask me for my id and i said fuck no and you know then they pulled and they literally pulled me over a couple days later on some bullshit just so he could get my id and this motherfucker had the nerve to ask if i was a convict I'm like, yo, I'm dressed nicer than you, bitch. Like, what are you talking about? 
And that uh, pissed me off. But then, and then uh, that happened, and I ranted about it on Twitter or whatever the fuck. And um, then they let, then I got just got left the fuck alone, which is cool. But now it's just weird. Like now neighbors are like, "Oh, you live? Oh, do you work in the area? Do you live? Yes, I live here, bitch. Like, one, I, I literally walked out of my apartment, and a motherfucker asked, "Do you live here?" And like, it's like. Wh- like what how do you motherfuckers see people like you know like uh, hmm. I, still like and that's and i guess that's one thing you know no that's not just one thing that's bullshit like i you know you i've worked really hard to obtain the skills that i've obtained i worked really hard to get to the point that i've gotten to and for someone to say like oh to be shocked about that like it's like we're like you want to understand where that's coming from essentially first you know because maybe they maybe they didn't mean it like that you know maybe the white dude that was working at the gas station can't handle the fact that i make more money than you i make a lot more money than you and that's not your fault or maybe it is your fault because you got everything you possibly you have everything you need to succeed asshole i don't know what the fuck you're doing but maybe that bothers him a little bit and that's his little way of you know whatevering but fuck you (laughs) truly fuck you because i don't like who the fuck do you think you are that you get to demand dot 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 but you know what i'm just you guys sometimes you just gotta like flake that shit off and it's whatever you know because we still have the same fucking problems because to some people it's a some people think this shit's a game you know and it's not like it it sucks like i do feel like a fish out of water sometimes and i guess that what makes me miss baltimore so much but at the in the same thing i feel like my my rights have been fought for in the past that there's been people in the past ironically including my dad who have fought for my chance to play in the same field as everybody else to have an equal opportunity to play in the field as everybody else part of me is like yeah fuck this go back to Baltimore and just start my own thing. Literally just start my own fucking, and not even start my own thing. Get my friends together and just do this weird YouTube community and just, and just chill off of that and just make it mad Baltimore. Um, uh, make it mad Baltimore eccentric, make it mad. Like just, just do it the fuck up. Um, and connect different things. Cause I now understand how to do those. I I now understand how to do that. Like moving out here did teach me a lot. And I could go back and be, again, be very fruitful, but I also want the fucking opportunity to play with everybody else. Like, and that's so, and so, like, I don't want to segregate myself. And I think about that. It's like, yo, is it, can blacks only be successful around each other? Isn't that broken? Isn't that kind of broken? Isn't that a broken system where I'm like, oh, I can't. But if you look in California, that's what the fuck it is. It's all these towns because it's not a mixing pot. It's it's a mixing pot because we all we all share the same road. But that's really about it. Koreans have their literally have their own neighborhoods. They like their own fucking like. um, Is it Anaheim? I don't know. But there is a Korean area in California and it's in a whole entire like essentially county that is for Koreans. And there's nothing wrong with that. They niched out their own thing um, because maybe for the same reason. And then one or two generations start to seep into the main into main society, like after one or two generations, I suppose. And, you know, the the Koreans have it, the fucking and there's a place in Burbank. And I'm almost certain of this. It's not said, but it almost feels like it. But the uh, there's a particular uh, section of Burbank that's all uh, Armenian. You know, so they've carved up their own section and it's just like, OK, so the black I guess blacks have Crenshaw, which is cool, I guess. I only been for a second, only been for a second. I'm not going to lie. I was excited to be there <laughs> like no bullshit. Um, it's just weird. I'm, I'm I, I want the fa- I want the fair chance to compete, essentially, more than anything. And I feel like because I'm like, here's what we can do but we shouldn't have to prove like we create culture like we don't need to prove these things we create culture we create a lot of things like as as far as like our um our 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 uh what do you call those things so tired <laughs> i was on a roll um 
uh, I want to say we put our accomplishments that we uh, add to society had been many, you know, one of them being um, one of them being um, why does this motherfucker have this bright ass light in my eye? Let me see. So weird. But um, so weird. Like, why would you even park there, bro? All right. Yo, some people are weird, bro. Like, I kind of want to, like, I think you did that shit to irk me. And you're, like, you ever, like, there's some people who really do walk around angry. And so their job is to, like, how can I poke at people today? How can I, and it's everybody. It's not even I particularly hate you. Is that I'm so miserable. I, I'm going to hurt. I'm going to find a way to annoy this person. And then another person walks by. I got to find a way to do it. And they do it for so long that it just becomes second nature. You know, but there's a bright ass light in my fucking eye, though. <laughs> like, good Jesus, Louise. But I just put the fucking blinds up because this is good enough. Um, Let's see. I got distracted. But it's, it's that. Like, I, I just wanted a fair chance to compete with everybody because you see uh, these multi-ethnic fucking um, studios or whatever, all these multi-ethnic media teams. And that's cool. Good for you. However... However, um, hello, <laughs> uh, sometimes they just don't got enough flavor in that shit. And I, you know, yeah, like they don't got enough flavor in that shit. I feel like sometimes that's all. And I'm like, like where the flavor at is the flavor not applying to this job or are, are they not hiring them? Uh, you know what the fuck is going on, buddy? Are you hiring <laughs> safe blacks? I guess. Like, are you hiring safe blacks, sir? I don't know. I actually don't know what I'm going to call this one. I got to figure that out. So this is randomly relevant. I'm going to try to get a guess next week. And we're out.